Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how you can use RGB curves node to create shapes like this. And it's very simple and you can use it with these RGB curve modeling nodes that I created and that you can download from the link in the description. They're just two dollars and it would be a great way to support this channel. If you don't want to download them, then you can watch me until the end of this video and I will show you how to recreate them. It's not that complicated. Anyway, how it works, it's pretty simple. So here we have a geometry that's just a cube that I chose to subdivide and I subdivided a bit, so six times. So there is enough geometry that we can edit. And then it gets passed through these two nodes with in the middle this RGB curve that when I change its shape, as you can see, it changes here. And how it works is from this map range position node, the Z value is the one that practically allows us as the reference axis. So this is the axis, but if we choose, for example, the Y instead, it's the same thing. You only need to also do this. So um, it's not that complicated. And I'm going to show you in a second how that this works. And uh, here you can switch on the symmetric because if you turn it off, this happens. So practically everything moves in that X and Y direction. See, so only the X, only the Y, only or symmetric, only the X and only the Y or both of them. You can also plug in the selection here. So if you don't wanna, I don't know, maybe modify vertices that are on the negative x for example or stuff like that but uh, you also have the these two parameters which is the multiply so you can multiply it and you can add so you can make it bigger smaller stuff like this and that is practically it now let's just enter these group nodes to see what goes on in here so this one is pretty simple so map range position this one returns all the Z values of the vertices from zero to one. So if the Z value, the maximum Z value is 200 and the minimum is 100, then all these values from zero to 100 will gonna be map ranged from one to zero or inverse. You can even inverse this. And it's pretty simple what we got here. We just have the geometry passed on and we use the attribute statistic node that captures the, the maximum and the minimum X, the maximum and the minimum Y, the maximum and the minimum Z, and then it map ranges them from zero to one. We use also the inverse, so the same thing here. So from zero to one, but here we use it from one to zero and we use the switch, the inverse switch that chooses this one or this one, depending on the switch on the inverse switch. Okay. And, and this is, so this is the, these are the values zero to one that we use into our RGB curve color socket. And then we insert these color socket into our RGB curves socket here and I will show you what happens inside of this one this RGB curves gets multiplied remember and it also gets added that value and then this RGB value gets added here to my X Y and Z components of the position of every vertex or it gets multiplied by depending on the symmetric checkbox switch. So if this if the switch of the symmetric is off, then it gets added. And if it's on, then it gets multiplied. And we have another switch here. 
which controls the lock of the x, y, and z component. So whether we want to change our x component or, or not, we use the ones that are unchanged. And if we want to change them, if we want, then if it's this checkbox, for example, is true, then we will use the changed x component. And then it's combined again here and into our position. The selection gets passed on and output is right there. So pretty simple. And this is the result. So that's practically it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can download this setup for just $2. Link in the description. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.